what's up guys it's jules here back with another video and in today's video i'm doing a setup video on this air force one piece minus one so if you guys are excited for today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe on the channel if you haven't yet i haven't gone for a lot of uh nike drops um this week because most of them are very limited anyways but there will be another live cup soon but today i'm just showing my setup um i already generated some cookies because it's 8 15 right now i usually start my tasks um around 8 15 uh, but i'm still really testing my proxies because this is going to be a leo drop so then i will have to get very fast proxies so i'm testing uh, my proxies right now so i'm using leaf proxies and today i did do two um lists but I, I usually don't do two lists but i'll just see how that um ends up i'm running like 140 tasks so i will be using so I generated like some 160, 170 um, proxies in case the proxies get banned. Then reshuffling won't be that big of a problem during the drop. Because it's always nice to have some backup proxies. Okay, so after I have put in the proxies, I am going to start uh, making the tasks. So I already got that count in. If you're searching for some good quality Nike accounts, again, check the link down below in the description box because i got everything set up already i've got some cookies for those nsa tasks already as well so the first step is to search the product link i'll just find it on the nike site and also the sku because i'm going to run some nsa tasks because i need the sku for the nsa tasks and the product link for the nswa tasks um the SKU, you can usually find it on StockX. I usually grab it from StockX. I'm not sure if you can find it on the Nike side as well, though. Or you can find the SKU in the bot calendar as well. But if it's not working, I would suggest using StockX. If the calendar isn't working, use StockX for the SKU. So another question I also get asked a lot is if you should check the refill Nike info. Uh, my answer would be yes, because else the bot will fin fill, fill in some random info that's not yours. And the headless, I would also check it on. So if it's checked on, it's a non-headless task, which means it will not open a pop-up browser to get checked out. Because if you open like one, 100 uh, browsers, it will be very hard on your computer as well. And if you check the headless, you will run non-headless. So with non-headless, there will only be a browser pop up. And then we will just see the status um, on the bot itself. And the open browser count um, lets you see how many uh, browsers you can get open. I'm still figuring out that open browser count myself because it's always... Um, practice so i've got the task set up um we've got like 40 minutes till the drop goes live so i'm about to start the tasks i will be starting them like 5 to 10 per time and when they go to sleep i'll start the next batch because then uh, it won't be too hard on my server because i'm running a server because i have a mac myself but i'm running a server but i don't want to um make it too hard on the server as well but a browser count is kind of high right now um but i yeah i just need like i said i still need to figure it out so this is my setup um i really hope this will help you i really hope i can cop this drop i hope it was helpful if it was be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe on the channel if you haven't yet leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out